plasma and flaratops and their decay. So essentially we're talking about light that is bound to matter. Uh, it propagates and we can talk about how it decays and how we can use that in order to drive devices, so whether it's in energy conversion devices or whether it's in uh, photodetectors. There are many exciting applications. The way plasmons decay is something that people have thought about experimentally for the past few years, but there's a lot missing on the theory of plasmon decays and that's specifically what I've been working on. It's um, an area where you can couple uh, materials theory, nanostructures, as well as photonics to describe a very complex process. Um, as I said, the applications range from you know, energy conversion to photo detection to even, uh, in some cases, designing sensors. Um, so it's an area where theory can really do a lot to guide experiment, and that's specifically what I've been focusing on. Since plasmons um, allow us to play with light on the nanoscale, the decay of plasmons also happens in the nanoscale and there are specific geometries that we can go after that help us make very efficient devices and theory could do a lot to tell us, for example, how far the excited carriers are transported, what materials are better for those carriers and what kind of, um, for example, shocky barriers we can design to collect those carriers and that's something that I think is interesting.